Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you know, got a little pepper spray because I was documenting Blue Hair's arrest, except for Ooh. it was his beating. You'll be all birdie birdie if you cuddle with me. Jesus. Another investigation. Why are you this is the Portland Police Bureau. Shut the fuck up! North Lombard Street near North Denver Avenue is open to vehicular traffic. You must immediately take the roadway and proceed to the north sidewalk. The officers are currently waiting for assistance from an ambulance to assist the person in our custody. Move away from the officers and out of the roadway. If you remain in the roadway, you may be subject to arrest or disorderly conduct interfering with the police officer and other states and city offenses. Move to the sidewalk now. Hey, watch out! He has a he has a bottle of mace in his hand. I thought the road was open to traffic. What happened to that? I thought the road was open to traffic. Is it not open no more? Did y'all just close the road for no reason? Hey, what happened to the road being open to traffic? It's not open no more? Y'all are blocking the road now. Yeah, they do. They have to. And I'm 18. And I'm 18. Actually, June 17, 2002. You want to look me up? Okay, then. Stop talking to me, bitch. Exactly. Exactly. Let him know. Walked into the crowd, dude. How is she interfering? Don't interfere with an officer by shining that light directly in his eyes. Just like how you do to us. You tell me how she was interfering. Bro, y'all just y'all just get a real job. Do welding, bro. Do welding. Go to go to the go to the military. Why do you say that she's in, 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 interfering with the investigation, but none of your officers do? Hey, he's coming back over here. Do you feel good because you have a fucking gun? You feel like you can boss people around because you have a gun in a bag? Do you, does that make you feel good? You should be at home reading your daughter a bedtime story or take, letting your dog out so it can go pee. What the fuck are you doing? Go home! Get out of the street. Your feet are in the street. Get out of the street. You're a fucking joke. One zero zero three nine zero zero. You're a fucking clown. Your feet are in the street. 
Honestly, you can't. Can. This guy's been so mad all day. I swear to God. I've gotten so many good pictures of his face. He's had it. He really has been all one. There's no profit being a Hey, earlier, he's been mad because... It's literally going to be the next No, no, no. Meme. He's been mad because I've been getting on his head, and he dropped a thing of tear gas in front of me, and it exploded, did this little flashy thing, and I'm not going. That's why he's mad. Pretty sure he's that one with the SS tattoo. <laughs> You're a bitch. I can already see it in your eyes. You're a bitch. Hey, I hope you know you're wearing my money right now. My money is on your body. That helmet, that little visor, that little walkie-talkie, all that, all your little get-down, all your little picky outfit, I pay for that. My taxes. My stimulus check. You don't even go here. <laughs> Look at the coordinated attack plan. Guaranteed. The coordinated attack plan. Y'all can leave now. Y'all could have been gone. Why are you out here? You don't even have your stripes yet. Dude, you don't have your stripes. You don't have your stripes. Where the fuck are your stripes? Where the fuck are your stripes? Where are your stripes? Where the fuck 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 are your stripes? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, uh, she, one of the NLGs, ran around to the back. Okay. We need to try to get the eyes on her. We got people on this side. Just stop knowing where we are. Four eyes. Is that him back there? We have his bag. Is he on? Your ambulance is gone. Your ambulance is gone. He could be back there, though. Those are two people back there. Use the crosswalk, Jay Walker. Jay Walker's not a crime. Give me that Jay Walker's not a crime in Oregon. Jay Walker. You guys, you guys said that was an open street. You guys fucked it off. What happened to that? <laughs>
For what? These are our streets. What is she doing? Shut up. Does anybody want chicken? Does anybody like some chicken over here? <laughs> Only if it's tear gas, it has to be extra spicy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This was not a riot. At no point was tonight a riot. What's, what's your definition of riot? A large group of people that are out of control and about to hurt other people. So I'm not going to say this exactly, but ORS is going to say riot is five or more people acting violently or tumultuously. Okay, in one group together? Yes. Yes, okay, when did so that right happen? now you're right, it's not a riot. When you guys declared it a riot, there were a couple dozen people hanging out on sidewalks. Okay, but the activity is up to that point. When you declared so, a riot, okay, well, let's, there let's, were people let's, hanging let's, out quietly. Let's replay the events of what happened then, right? Somebody shot off some rounds. Somebody broke in there and started a fire. Somebody broke in and started a fire tonight? So, again, Are you maybe shocking? is that five or more? By policy for us, I think it's six or more. So, when, How many people broke in? Again, that's why we're investigating right now. Oh, you're investigating. I so, see. I see. Well, so we why? Why did it... we get information from lots of sources, right? Why did you declare us a riot when you weren't sure? Why did I? You and your people. Why did my again, based upon the totality of the information? I don't. I didn't have that totality of information. Uh huh. So you were just following orders. You're just following orders. Generally. Yeah. But generally. I still operate within the law. Uh huh. Right. I have to. Yeah. Uh, what if we weren't a riot? Just like stretch your imagination for a second. What if we weren't, but you guys unlawfully called us a riot? Okay. Uh, somebody else told me to do so something it's their based fault. upon the law. So it's their fault. Somebody else makes that declaration, yes. Yes. Okay. So and you don't question This is it. part of the conversation that a lot of people are having these days about qualified immunity. I'm okay. protected under qualified immunity if I'm following somebody else's order saying something is lawful. It's have just you, like have you ever cops. heard of the Nazis? It's just like probable cops. Have you ever heard of the Nazis? Well, they were all following orders too. Okay. Yeah. Were they under their system of laws? Yes. Okay. If so they didn't do anything wrong. Of laws, then ultimately they were judged at a later point, right? We're trying to get to that point right now, even for us. So right? what you're telling me is that if you are operating within the law, then you feel completely justified, is what you're saying. Completely justified? Yes. Well, okay, so there's a law, and then there's going to be policy. No, no, no. So, so, so there's the law, and then there's morality. Yes. I yes. have this conversation with my loved one all the time. Oh, do you? All the time. Is your loved one ashamed of you? Because they should be. Of me? Yes. Or, or sometimes part of the system. 
of you, you because you're part always, of the you system. You guys are always going to say no good cop and racist system, right? Okay. Yes. That's, that's fair enough. Fix the system. You fix the system. You're in the system. You don't think I try to fix the system? No, I don't. You don't know me. If you had any decency, you would quit. But that doesn't that doesn't fix the system. It's not able to be fixed right now. It needs to be defunded. It needs to be completely reformed. That's your opinion. I have a different They opinion. order you to come out here. What? You see a small group of people unarmed, and you bull rush them, and you put one of them in the hospital. And you think that's okay? You're using like you as me. You are part of them. Okay. Well, that puts you back in the same boat of a riot declaration where there's a bunch of people not doing anything, but five or six or more were. You have an incredible amount of power as a police officer. I know. We do not have that kind of power. Okay? We can't police okay. each other. So, what do you mean? But we're having a conversation right now. I don't think it's a bad conversation right now. So, how else do you want to be heard? Other than quit my job, and that I have authority. What are you doing to change the? What are you doing to change things? What am I doing to change things? Yes. Well, certainly I operate within my own morality of how I do it. Really? Yeah. And in your morality, is it okay for a bunch of huge men in riot gear to shove unarmed people to the it's ground? It's going to depend on the circumstances. What circumstance is that okay? What? In what circumstance is that okay? When there is definitely that definition of like violent and tumultuous activity. I'm not talking about tumultuous activity. I'm talking about there are people standing in front of you like I am right so, now. Let's, and your let's, brothers let's put you, put you shove in, them. In a, in a police officer's realm. Okay. What do you do with a crowd that doesn't control? They're not accepting traffic. They're not accepting traffic. Okay, so what do you do? You said you, what you're not going to do. What do you do? You leave them alone. So you let them potentially try to... People shoot things in the no, air and no. burn down if, buildings. And... If there are people shooting things, if there are people lighting things on fire, yeah. you arrest those people. How do you do that in a crowd dynamic where basically everybody in that crowd isn't going to let you do your job? How do you do that? The people, like for example, let's say somebody broke in there and was setting a fire in there. You could go there in and There was a lot of live streams person. tonight. Nobody was watching that door. So what you're saying is because a couple people are potentially maybe kind of sort of putting people, but mostly property in danger, that it's okay no, no, for you to... No, arson is not a property. Arson is not that a building property. That building is not the city. What's that? That building is not the city. That building is connected over there by houses. So if a fire catches, that's not a property crime. That's a, and if there's somebody occupied dwelling, that's attempted manslaughter or attempted murder. Okay. That's not a property crime. Happen. Burning something is not a property crime. This, then this, then this, or this. And the door wasn't open. Yeah. <laughs> the, no, there were live streaming. There was a lady with a flag on who was sitting in front of the door. Spray on those fucking okay, dumpster fire in the so middle of the street next to nothing is really different from. It's just like a dangerous justice center. I agree. We let those burn for probably quite a while. I think before we show up. I'm not talking about specifically tonight, but I can out I know, I was standing next to you, I wish I would have my mask on. No! I wanted to talk to you about what they were doing to you and what they were doing to Mike. And that's part of the price, right? And I wasn't even thinking about the comments. No, I have it on video. The ACLU specifically wants it. I know. The ACLU wants it because they were attacking you as a medic. I was just trying to help them, literally. Like even reaching my hand. I know. I hand, like, what the? Yeah, I know. And he's like, don't try to get our access. Like, she I get that. I get that. Because you work in the system. You need to build the system. It takes time to change the system. It's not. I do the same idea. Like, if you think all politicians are bad, and then they just like, they're bad. 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 They're
Cam, they can't delete off of all of our body cams. They can't delete off of. Perfect. So he's gonna yeah. have it, but also I just I'm pretty sure Mason's that the camera same, has it. Mason's yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same cop that hit my car oh, with a flashlight. He's like, he's I know who it is. Bald and kind of short, like shame face. Yeah, he yeah. walked up and he was like, he was I know like, exactly who it is. He was like, please don't talk to me. me. Yep. And then because we walked. Two minutes later, y'all turned on Mike when y'all were running after that kid. I know the kid they were running off. He went and caught me around. Right, 
I know they keep telling you guys to get out of the street, but it's not even a lot. Like, jaywalking is not a lot. Obstruction of traffic is the only thing they can get you for. <laughs> they tried to write us some tickets because we were filming at East. They tried writing us jaywalking. <laughs> They threatened to cite me in Lonsdale when they cleared the park the first time. I was like, so write me a citation. That's a waste of my time. Well, then I'll be here filming the arrest until... I'm relieved to hear that, but I'm not feeling like it's going far enough. If one of them raised their gun and pointed it at us, would you stop them? If you were standing out like this? Yes. Would you? I have, if it's a left lever launcher? It's probably not what if it was at her face? Yeah, what if it was just like a flashbang but at her face? I've seen them do it. 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 Two people. We see it every time we come out here. Every single time. And then it's like, are you guys not here? Can you not see it? Your eyes not work? I, I don't know. Like, every time I've seen them. basically said if he acts like a Nazi and just follows orders, then it's okay. Yep, that's, that's basically what it was. Literally what the entire conversation was. We say that, like, there's no, like, later, after they've gotten an order... Sorry, my mask got maced. <laughs> I know they weren't with this. Well, and then they said that no one was live-streaming that front door. I was live-streaming it. There was a lady with an American flag around her neck the entire time. Unbelievable. Like, actually, I was live-streaming that moment because that was kind of funny. Because they said someone went through the front door and started a fire. Longer than the investigation of the active shooter. Thank God we have them here to invest. the Nazi regime.
Which number is it? Twelve? Uh, someone got a good picture of him. Oh my god, he was fucking huge and he came right up on me. They use marking rounds, so you know. So for those that don't know what happened um, to the guy that was on the ground, blue hair, he will... One cop came by and asked him not to dox him because uh, blue hair knows a lot of the cops out here. And blue hair didn't say anything, and so then, like, two seconds later, another cop bull rushed him and knocked him in the street. So he is at the hospital. Oh my god! Hello? Headed out to the hospital.